Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, I'm Mary Gunn of Mary Gunn Fun, founder and head professor of Fun University, welcoming you to the second Scrapbook Lab of December, where we are talking about scrapbook trends. Yay, scrapbook trends. Um, they do come, they do go. This one, what we've been talking about is the, um, the kind of artsy trends that are going on, not just kit trends or whatever, but they're um, kind of the artsy look at scrapbooking. And we're also teaming it up with the end of the year wrap up, which I think is a really important thing to do. And um, I've done it poorly in the past, so I'm excited to mend my, mend my wicked ways. And um, to that end, we have a couple things going on. You can always do a layout with the scrapbook planner at hand. And then I did draw up an, a worksheet for you to keep on whomever you were doing the um, end of the year on. So I don't have a printer that works right now. So I just answered my own questions right here on a piece of notebook paper and um, for my daughter, Leah. Now the other thing, I haven't gotten pictures from Leah, who is the photographer, but I did um, get pictures for Joanna. So we can look at that one just briefly. And then I want to show you the one that I worked on for, for the Mr. and me. So thank you for being here. I always appreciate your company. You're just a nice group to hang out with. And um, here we go. This was the one that we did last week with Joanna and Joel. I forgot to write and. So I could, I'll do that right now because I just forgot. Now Joanna's style is very, um, she's very stylish and clean and um, put together, or as she would say, buttoned up. Um, Joel and she always look real nice, and and they're not at they're not quirky looking at all. Now Leah is a lot more quirky. Um, <laughs> a lot more quirky and so her page is going to look a lot different than this but I did show this to Le or Joanna and she went oh that's so pretty so that was for we got through that test now on her whoa baby I thought I had her pictures right here I don't okay well I did get her pictures oh there just a second I am going to walk over and get those because I think they'll be helpful to you well I think we'll work on them next week but so that we have that second page. One of the trendy things that I see a lot is people just do um, one page. And so I don't know if they're just doing one page and not having a matching one. That's fine too. Um, it would be just something different. Okay, so what I had her do was show, send me some pictures. So I got some pictures of her uh, at work which was really cool because she won't work with these people forever. So we got some really good pictures of her at work. It may take a couple pages to do her. She's pretty good at this. There's her million pound dog. And then they were at a wedding and um, they took care of the million, the another dog and they had their mask on. So I think that was important to them. This is the horse. I got one of these for myself. He's got his, his tranquilizer or his his natural medicine to help him relax because he's supposed to be on stall rest. Here she is riding her other old horse. I got that one for myself too. Here's a picture of her house. So that it's going to be important. There's her other doggy. And he always, when he goes on walks he, at a park, he will always find baseballs. He's the most odd thing. And then here is the big dog with a little girl that had visited them. This was her birthday party, which I have already, I've already done in her eight and a half by 11, but that's going to be a different kind of memory. There's something for her house. This is a picture that she and, um, jo she liked of she, of Joel and her. And so I got that one. I think this is a picture of her horse <laughs> talking to the Watusi, uh, Watusi cow named, oh gosh, I can't think of what. Winifred, maybe? Winifred the Watusi? Anyway, that's a funny picture. We saw that one when we did the 8.5 by 11. She sent me so many pictures. Okay, and there I am scrunching up my nose. So that's just a picture of um, other people. I got one for Leah and one for me. 
And then we were talking about houses. This was a, a they built this whole buffet thing down at their dining room because she loves to entertain and have somebody else do the cooking. So they built this whole thing in and of course then had to quit entertaining so that's no good there's joel she liked that one to joel so these are the kinds of pictures i've got um house work she didn't have one of joel at work um animals just shots she likes family this was her birthday so i can put that with her birthday picture there's her dad and the horse i got that one for me too there's the horse i got that one for me too and that's another pretty picture of them. See how they're really put together, people. I don't know where she came from. Sometimes I wonder if she's mine. But um, anyway, those are the kinds of pictures I got. So just using, uh, I even put picture types on that worksheet, if that's interesting to you, for things you can do. So um, we'll get those things uh, tidied up and figured out. It may be a collage, you know, with some um, information on it, but... Or it may be several pages, because that's a lot of pictures. Holy smokes. Or I may end up adding some of these to her uh, smaller book. And then, we'll see. This one really curled. Remember how I painted on it? And then I didn't come back to this one, and it still needs some more color, maybe. So this is the one that we're going to do the pictures on. But they're not going to all fit. But they sure are a nice, nice memory. So last night, I, some of, most of you were, I think, were here. Um, I will go over this just because it's recorded. This is the one that I have for Doug and me um, for our end of the year tr trendy scrapbook. And again, we've got the crooked, the crooked um, focal point or focal photo uh, with the little wonky mats in back. Then I add, remember, let's see, so we go from big to little. We have the big picture. We've got the big title. The title was something I just wrote with a large Sharpie and cut out kind of close to it so it looks kind of artistic. Um, this paper was just paper, and so I cut it up into squares because it was actually squared paper. So I just cut it up into squares, added some of, I gutted this stuff, so underneath here, this is like cut out. So this part is just an upside down L or a seven. And then I cut out the pieces from that paper and I used it on here. I did the months of the year in a real light gray, just a background, um, made a mask, made some toilet paper rolls um, and because that's, a, that's 2020. So did a little wrap up of some of the things that were going on. I think, and then, um, on the worksheet, it says like give a give a day a word or something about your wrap up of the whole year. Well, that's gonna that's gonna it's not quite done yet, so I'm not sure if I'm ready to write that. But um, definitely an unusual year and definitely um, a year that would be worthwhile noting. A couple other this is pretty open down here. That's okay because it, you need some space to to let your eye rest a little bit. But at the same time, I could do a small, a small border even um, of writing, just even along the bottom and then right along here, even as a corner. It might look kind of groovy. I did get a terrible, terrible smudge here, so I had to, I had to cover it up. But that's what I did yesterday. And then we've got Kerwin and a dog, but we only, I only put one dog there because I figured that's just not the best was just a hint not the not factual point we'll get those points in there so tonight tonight we have miss leah coming to the to the the picture this was one that we i just took at thanksgiving again so um just to keep things rolling i had to just take the bowl by the horn and um get that printed off because i i didn't know for sure what I was going to do to get her to do to do everything so she's very busy so anyway hers is going to look a lot different because she is not all she's more quirky than Joanna and um she's not going I'm going to be able to do some more fun things on this one and um we're going to add she Leah likes details she likes um family feels she likes clutter 
And um, so we're going to be able to not be quite as um, precise maybe on this one. We're going to be able to do some more fun things. So that's that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to, her colors are more of the golds and reds and oranges. And so we're going to be working along those lines. And then um, also I'm thinking of a painting that she had um, that was given to her as a wedding present from a woman that she had nannied, a local painter who, um, Becky Pasha, I love her work, but um, anyway, she had a pa painting, and while she lived in L.A., we had the painting, and we really enjoyed it, but she just got it back in the last month, <laughs> and so that's been like seven years that she hasn't had her painting, and in that painting, it, there are golds and browns and... Um, and reds too so I know that she'll like these colors we're gonna do a, take a little different approach instead of watercolor we're gonna just lay we're gonna mostly put the color right in here or yeah and then we will we'll put her in here right in this area hi Molly hi Sue hi Connie and um, I think I don't know that I'm gonna cut them apart I may just cut them smaller and then I have a I just have when I built my kit for tonight's layout I just pulled out that this was kind of pretty but it may be too bright but you know if you have something like that and it's still a little bright you can always ink over it so we can get out the brush and put some ink on there um, I thought this was just kind of a pull out the I may cut this up and just do it's a wonderful year because uh, you know I was talking to Joanna and there has been a lot of hardship hardship and heartache this year but I was uh, we were talking about those pictures with Joanna and I said it really hasn't it hasn't been horrible for us has it and she said no it really it really hasn't so it's been harder but it hasn't been horrible I know it has been for others this I thought was just kind of pretty. It might be pretty to cut some of those up and use them. Um, this is just a cool little scripty, and I think I used that maybe on Joanna. Yep, yep, I did. So I may um, end up trimming that and making some banners or something. I thought this was just kind of, I could see Leah um, liking that. So I pulled that one out. Not for this part, even though she would like to make memories all over the world. Well, but I thought for that's just pretty and I kind of looks like something I could pull in for her. I thought this would might make a good mat behind them, part of the mat thing. We don't want it dark against them because it's going to just uh, muddy them up. But we can put some lighter paper in there too. And might even ground it a little bit with some black. I thought this was a pretty little butterfly and might cut that one out. Probably cut that out. I thought she does a lot of cooking and things, so I thought, well, you know, maybe a bowl might be kind of a cool little thing. This is just a pretty little watercolor. I don't know if I'll use it or not. It's a watercolor panel. And there's that paper again. I thought maybe I'd want to use more than once. I don't have any oranges in here. Hmm. I may have to I may have to do some inking. Because we're gonna start with with some oranges and golds, but maybe I'll just do some golds. Now I'm now I'm kind of hedging, but I think we're going to do some golds and maybe just some golds and tans. Then we'll we'll go with that instead of the orange. We'll just pull that one out and say goodbye, good goodbye, have a nice life. And we're going to pull out this little guy, Mr. Brayer from way back when. And I think I have what I need, but maybe I don't. Yep, I do, I do. Now, it may not be wet enough. I don't, I've been playing with my um, brayer, so I don't, I want to clean it before we get started. So, have you guys gotten your pictures yet? <laughs> We're going to just use a baby wipe to clean it off. That's pretty. And hopefully we'll get so that it's not yeah I think we're pretty clean there and we'll get a paper towel just to make sure it's nice and dry and clean see we can check it and it's good we're good to go 
And these baby wipes were really dry, so I just stuck some wipes. <laughs> just took it to the faucet and put it under the faucet for a while. Okay, so we're just going to put the colors mostly in here. Maybe kind of an L because it's for Leah. And that would be fine. And I don't care if I get lines. I don't care if I get streaks because we're going to just be smashing this on um, because I want the I want the texture. So this is a color called toffee. And we're just going to, usually if you wanted a nice soft brayering, you'd come in from the side, you'd do all these different things. But we're just going to come in and um, have fun. <laughs> so that's all we're going to do. Let's turn the paper instead of the brayer. My arm's going to break off and my finger won't go on the top too well when my arm is breaking off. Okay, we'll stop at that point right now. I'm just going to use, I don't think I want to use that right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use saffron. Just rub this off a little bit, make, try to get it clean. Uh, close my heart, pad, um, ink pads are great for this because they're big. We're not going to cover all of the same places and we're going to get some different places at the same time because we don't want it we don't I don't want a solid color of anything that's kind of fun just make some lines with it on purpose. Have you tried the brayer when making wood? I don't believe I have, Sue. That's a really good question. It sure would be easy to use. Yeah, I think you could, totally. I don't know why you couldn't. Get that all off. Try it. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I think it would work. Smarty smart girl. Okay, I think, I think, I think. Do I want a little paprika? Uh, that wasn't poppy, that was saffron. Yeah, poppy is, is orangey, right? Yeah, this is some um, paprika here. So we're going to add that in too. Now, just because we can, let's go ahead and get a brush out. Do I have a brush for this one? That's red. We'll try this one. Yeah, do try it. I'd love to see what you come up with. And we're just going to add some, put some colors together here just to make them look a little more like, ooh, that's one piece. It really, how does that work? How did that work? It pulls, it'll pull the colors. Oh, that looks really cool on the screen. I hadn't seen it. I'm looking at it straight up. But this will pull some of the other, this like darker color in with the lighter spots and things. I want to keep those harsh lines. Coffee, saffron, and <laughs> paprika. What are we cooking? Um... What would we be cooking with that? Toffee would throw it off. That would be like the, if you did the wheel and you got toffee, make something with toffee, saffron, and paprika. It would be a bad night at the wheel. I do think so. Yeah, that's looking kind of good. <laughs> Lebanese lamb and rice with toffee? That's the one that's, that's the curveball. Oh, thanks, Sue. We're not done. 
Okie doke. Um, hope this isn't going to be too dark. I wanted the the toffee or the nutmeg well, because it's food for one thing and then um because yeah it's gonna be fine I'm going for it I'm gonna pull out another brush and I'm going to pull out this is my template there and the the painting that she had had lots of layers of it was supposed to be a bunch of um islands and in the sunrise or something and so it's got a lot of different layers going on and so I think this will kind of mimic it a little bit for that overall feel for her for her um, end of the year thing oops got got a stupid place there we'll flip it over to get the other side going May not take it all to the top, but just down here at the bottom. You could do this, right? There's nothing there's nothing spectacularly difficult about this. You could totally get this look if you wanted. And you know, you could also cut you could do something like this and then cut it out and cut it out and you could even add more texture with embossing folders and whatnot wonder if i can make something out of this <laughs> like a mountain range with writing on it i probably could <laughs> let's face it I probably want to. Not only do could I, I want to. That's very subtle, but I think I'll do one more. Okay. All right. All right. We may have to add some more colors to this to make the picture work, but we'll do it. A couple other things that I did found with I found these little the stamp and um he's got a big old fat cat who's gray so i made that he's got um super ancient dog oh poor sammy whenever she comes over she brings sammy he's just poor little guy he's 17 he's blind and deaf <laughs> but he just just hangs in there so I, th I put those in there those little things and there is another one that I thought would work in there now I don't remember what it was oh yes I do they had a huge remodel of their house um, huge remodel of their house that sounds really good Stephen <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not at all hungry though and so I just put a bird house and their little house is is blue so I made that happen like that so we'll just put those we'll start them right there because I don't know where we're gonna go and then this was this I worked on the coloring earlier and then just cut those out to be in that little thing so we've got let's get this picture figured out they're gonna go right about here oh we can't see okay let's do this so we're gonna put them uh, but they're kind of dark so um, probably trim them up just a little bit and put pop them on a little white I do like them a little bigger but not I, for trends oh my gosh gotta stay on trend <laughs> we're gonna cut it down just a little bit and we are oh that's actually really pretty and I may use that as um, some embellishment this was at Thanksgiving our first Thanksgiving picnic <laughs> at the fire circle so that was very nice worked out I think we'll just keep them a little bit that'll be fine yeah, I'm pretty with that light hanging she looks like Monica from touched by an angel I'm Monica 
Okay, okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> you pro now let's see who's in this audience. Connie, you may remember this. You, or nobody else is probably old enough. But we were, um, Doug and I were walking the dogs and something came up about the Real McCoys, which was a TV show. Um, turns out that it started in 1957 and ran for seven years. So I watched it when I was itty bitty. Some honey to lighten it up. That's a pretty good idea. Do I have honey? Ah, oh, honey paper maybe. I don't have any ink. So let me see. Um, so we were talking about this crazy show. And it had this old grandpa figure on it. And we were la we're going, well, he was pretty old. And uh, so we looked it up. And he was younger than we were when he was in the show. So... We're a little, we were feeling really old today. He was three years old. He was three years my junior and seven years Doug's junior. Very, you remember it? Yep, yep. Well, Grandpa, Grandpa, when he was playing that part, you know, um, he was 63, Connie. 63. We have passed Grandpa, and he, he seems so old. <laughs> it's very funny. I'm just going to edge those. They look like they need a little something. Honey. Are you talking about honey paper, Miss Sherry? Or are you talking honey ink? Because I don't have the honey, honey ink. Well, Sammy's little white dog. <laughs> I know, because he was old, right? <laughs> Dead coming. Or dad, gum it, Pepina. <laughs> it was in Southern California too. I was, it was, it was mind blowing. All these things that were going on. So we watched just an a thing of it. Oh, I bet she was it. I bet Aunt Me was young. I might have to look her up too. Oh, Aunt B, Aunt B. <laughs> Let's face it, Connie, 60, late 60s are the new 50, which is really still sounds pretty old. Either or both. Okay, I don't know if I have either, <laughs> Sherry. It may be a, a matter of I don't have either of the mustards. You know, I might, if I want to lighten it up, I can always add some gesso too. But I do like these guys on these little pictures. I think they're cute. And I think Leah would like them. Matt won't care. He doesn't like Sammy. <laughs> but, but Leah likes Sammy. So that's enough. That one's got uh, bad stamping. So it's going to be. I like that. I like it down in here better. Pull these out a little bit. We're always talking about whether Sammy's going to come the next time. We never know if he's going to be here. Leah is a photographer, so I found a stamp of a camera to add. Do a rough chop around it. Leave that little lip. It makes cutting so much easier. Don't cut on the line. We'll have taken a picture of them. And I found this really pretty butterfly. See, she likes tchotchke better than a mat. He doesn't love it so much, but, you know, that's the way it's going to be, buddy. Now, this scripty thing is going to pick up. It's going to lighten the, take them away from some of the color. So, we may want to put that in there. Let me cut it trim this one up you like the puppy stamp yeah the puppy stamp's pretty pretty cute there we go we'll just start cutting we'll just start trimming that up a little bit but we can't I'm gonna 
Okay, I'm going to trim that down a little bit and cut the inside out because I want to use some of that for some cat whiskers, so to speak. So trim away. Trim away, young lady. Okay. Keep that right here. And we'll go ahead and cut the, cut the insides out. So we can use it. We might want to use it around those little. Now he's this is a darker color, so I'm going to put it on the bottom of the picture so it has a little weight. Pulls him right down, doesn't it? I think it's going to be okay, Connie. I do. I have great hopes. Okay, since I don't have a lot of this scripty stuff, I'm going to gut this one too. So I can use it more. I think I'm okay with this. They all play together okay. <laughs> About such a tub. She's got, they call it her cookie pouch. She's got this hanging down pouch. Something like that. I think that one looks kind of sharp. Then try something else with the other two. Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then I did cut out a great big, I cut out a great big thing, cup, but that's going to be too much. She likes tea, so I thought, well, you know, maybe a pretty cup of tea. Matt, we're not, <laughs> we're just not giving him any character at all, but he is a character. Um, but I, don't, I didn't have anything to use that would be good for him, so... Okay, now this little guy, we could use that somewhere. I do. I think maybe over here with the blue belly. Well, you know, it's just paper. It's just pipe. Except I don't have a corner rounder that I like right now. No. Mm. Here? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put these guys on those sides, so I'll go ahead and just give them a kind of a of a permanent place in life. Maybe not a complete permanent place. But kind of a permanent place. Okay. Let's see what's this. Go ahead and just put a little green on here. I like those little hashtag marks on them. Little Sammy, do you need something behind you, baby? Poor little Sammy wears diapers. Little guy. He just is such a good, he's a good natured little fella. Poor little guy. He goes out in the backyard and he just stumbles around and gets lost. He can't see. I keep saying poor little guy, but it's, it's really, that's all I know. Poor little guy. I don't want that much tan. I want Sammy to not have tan. So I'm 
I don't want him up against that, so I'm going to cut it off. Timber! Have it up here. We'll have this one down here. The pr underside, the underbelly of the works here is not real pretty. We should move you guys down a little bit. You're kind of pie in the sky. Pumpkin pie if it's Thea. Mike. Not sure when what we're going to do for you, buddy. That's going to be okay. Weird. But we can pull, start pulling it together then with some other coordinating things. These are like the big things. I told you she likes, she doesn't mind clutter. So she's going to be fine with this. And um, pull that over there so we look around. And then if we, let's see, wonderful, let's see what that looks like. They did go on a couple airplane rides this year, which was weird that they did. Leah went to Washington. That looks good, those colors. Washington State to shoot a wedding. Then she hiked in the mountains while she was there to get to the, and that's where they had the wedding. Very odd. Oh, year. A. Do I have an A? Do I? Give me an A. It's, nope. The wonderful year. Most wonderful. No, no, that's a lie. <laughs> um, the wonderful year. It's so wonderful. We'll look that up. I do like those colors. That looks really good because I've got them all here. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, maybe we're going to change things around then. <laughs> do these guys come down here? Okay, we're, it's time to get... I don't want to mess with this. I love this but do I love this and now it's a problem no no it's not because okay because we've got this color and we've got the wonderful wonderful year a wonderful year I can always say a uh, uh 2020 a wonderful year um not a lie it's not a lie feels a little bit like a lie though <laughs> you know it does feels a little bit like a lie but it's not then we've got this little guy, and we can pull that up here, because we don't have any blue up here. And I will find a... Okay, come here. Come here. Where are you? Go ahead and do this. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put that... One of these can be straight. One of them, one of them. Bluebell, you may be the one. Yeah, I like that up there. I also have some orange thread and some clear, kind of a, what is that color? Cream, cream colored thread. And they may have something to do with these also. Bluebell, you're such a hog. They have you Kind of off to yourself. Family kind of gets lost. Okay. Oh, it's tuck too. Tuck, 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 tuck. Things don't have to be on top, a top, a top. -a. That is something, and we talked about this last week that um, things that are on top of a photo are going to take precedent over that importance. And um, 
So be careful. And I know that's a trend, but I, I'm just not going to go for it. That's going to pull, draw the line there. I put all sorts of stuff on top of a photo. Uh-uh. I'm doing one photo. That's my that's my compromise. As numbers, why? Let's see, this is kind of off. If we're gonna have, see, uh, in what in there in the tr current trend, they would have everything over on one side. So let's see what that looks like. Maybe this goes over on the other side. These might go on the other side. And I might just put the butterflies over here. They're so cute. I think I will put them on the other side. I think it's fight. It's too much for me. Too much. Too much. And then we'll just put... We'll get the butterflies out and they'll be pretty. I kind of like this too. I think I would like this cut up though. <laughs> Sometimes you, when you're doing a silly old scrapbook layout you have or cards too there's comes a time where you go i love this element i love this element the element is killing me um and you got you can't play right now you'll play someday but right now you're just not you're not working for me even though i you're a color i like you're a theme i like you're a feeling i like just not working for me that is actually very trendy looking. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it, but it's actually very trendy looking. I kind of like it actually pretty much though. Okay, so we've got the little teacup. We've got we've got I I think that's okay. I think. I think oh, here's the pretty butterfly. Pull a little bit of color over. We'll jam up some thread. Somehow. Um, I had another butterfly. Oh, it was uh, that little green one from the card. You know, what is, what, there isn't, butterflies don't have a whistle. I was going to try to whistle for it. Oh, there's a pink butterfly. Nope, like the green, I think. We've got Home Sweet Home. That's real sweet, too. Not everything can be used as the company thought it would be used, either, and that's okay. You gotta use how you see it, and you have to use it like you want it. What's gonna work for you? And if this trendy style isn't your your style, don't don't worry about it. It's pretty fun, but don't worry about it. It's also um, pretty, takes quite a bit of time to work through. Much more than, ooh, there's a really big butterfly. <laughs> but it's pretty. Okay, I kind of like that. I like it off, and that's on trend. Um, I'm going to keep that for this. Now I might put that on there right now because there's a good there's a pretty good chance I could lose it. 
I mean, I lose my ATG gun sometimes. That takes an effort. So we can do right here, home. Wait, we'll make it like ransom note. That'll be cute. That'll be real cute. And I'm just going to commit to it, you know? There comes a light in the evening. We got to call it done. Okay. Phone, do I have you over here? No, I have you over at the other desk. I'm going to grab my phone so I can take a picture of it. So I can roughly see what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna rebuild it. Come, come. Oh, and I still have some tissue paper to add. So we'll do that underneath. Oh, I forgot that. Um, so let's get that on there. Gotcha. Just add a little tissue paper because that's very trendy. And it does add a softness to the photo, which is kind of groovy. And generally, they just do a rough cut. Like wrapping presents. Oh, oh it kind of got free. Oh dear. Okay, well, okay, so that's my rough cut, and then we'll add that blue green. I think I'm I think I can build it without a photo at this point. Famous last words. There we go. We'll put this one on. He's going to go higher. That one had like a spot. I don't, I don't think I want to start with a spot on purpose. I have enough stuff that comes along. Then we'll stick it on here. This is going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. I think she will like it. And Matt's always wanted me to make him a scrapbook, so it's, I might probably do an 8.5 by 11 for him. I want them too high, but we don't want them too low. These old cards are coming in handy. that I pretty much given up on. There's all my beautiful work. We're going to cover it up. <laughs> Can't stick to it, though. You just have to move on. And if I'm not going to put all those other critters on and things, I don't have to go quite so far over, but I think I'm going to... I want some color on this side, some color on that side. I'm going to put this guy here. That's so pretty. I think it'll be just real nice. I'm covering them up a little bit. I'm going to make this parallel to that a little bit. This is going to go under, wasn't it? Oh. I'll stick some liquid glue under that. It'll be fine. guy can be kind of hanging out. Guy can be on top. Doing much for me up there. I like to point it toward him, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, I am going to put that little butterfly right there. Then we'll add some
Tuck, 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 tuck. This little butterfly, I had, I think it was last summer, I did watercolor pencil on it and then put clear embossing on it. Oh, we must be under siege. Can you hear those dogs? They act like it's serious business. There we go. Serious business. I'm sure they hurt another dog. That's pretty horrifying. Yep, these little cutie pies are going to come in at another time. This one, we're going to, like, the next layout. I'm going to go ahead and round that one, too. Because it'll, it'll make me crazy. We need a little blue up there. Need a little Christmas, need a little blue. Yep, yep, yep. And then, um... You probably just put names over here somewhere. 2020 over here somewhere. Orange thread. Stick it under there and hope for the best. I'm sure there's a better way. But right now we're just going to stick it under there and hope for the best. And then we'll bring some over on the other side. So it looks like it's all the way under. Just call me David, David Copperfield. All tricks. Yeah, I'll fix, I'll work on that in a little bit. And then, I do love that wonderful, it just looks wonderful. Even though it doesn't look quite in, we'll bring it up. That looks more wonderful, a little higher. Go through your stuff, and but do it with your photos in mind. And I think I think you'll find some good some good connections. And pull out that worksheet and just jot down some things because it's going to go fast the last few weeks. And all of a sudden it's going. And we have one, two. Let's put this somewhere else and, th and then all of a sudden it's going to be next year and you're going to be thinking about goals and not this year so things like that I don't know what to do with that so get some notes down get some pictures printed You'd be surprised what you might find on your camera roll Sum up the, the year in a word, or a paragraph, or a sentence. Try to keep it clean. 2020. I got these little letters out, and I think numbers. I think I'll use those, and I think I'll use browns, or black. I can use black. You only have to get two, two what? numbers out. <laughs> it's kind of handy. 2020. So much for that. Okay, so we've got black, black. I, I can use black. Then I'll just need their names. I, I, I'm okay with this. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. A couple hours ago, I wasn't quite sure if I had a grip on it. And then my, but I think I think we're gonna be okay. Twenty twenty. And because I I can see that we need an A, we're just gonna put an A right here. A wonderful year. Now, see, my little grammatical self feels much more even and at peace with the world. 
I need that. I don't know about you, but I need that. Okay. I'll just throw that on some paper because it wasn't quite as big as the wonderful. And again, I'm not using very much stuff. I can't get rid of it. But that's okay. We're good. Loose end there. He's going to just grab me to for, grab me to drink. As my old boss would have said. I can't put it over here because it's looking out that way and that doesn't make any sense. So, in my little brain of reason I want it over here maybe I can find another little butterfly and put the little butterfly over it I'll just set it down there I think it's okay there and I'll find a few more little butterflies for up here to work in I think we're okay with that I think that's a basic take um, and I probably will use this for their names Leah and Matt I also cut this out, or did this, plus this nest, but I might put that one with the house, so, okay, we're good. All right, there it is. We did it. I did it. I did another trendy, another trendy layout. What do you guys think? Do you have any questions? Do you like this style? I, I It's really quite fun. I just don't think, think it's 100% practical for me, <laughs> so... But I really do like this the look. I think it's very fun, eclectic. Um, I love combining things just based on uh, some kind of element that maybe doesn't look real normal otherwise together. But I want this guy to stick out a little better. I don't want him to just be lockstep with the other one. He needs to have a different angle to life. He was a little bit too twinsy. Who's going to try it? Good for you. Patty's clapping. I'm, that's nice. Shoot, I like that. Thank you. And Sherry thinks it's cute. I, I, yeah. And then we'll add, I'll add some more little gems and things too. That'll make, so I'll get some, a butterfly up here. So we'll have our little threesies. Um, add some gems out here. I think we'll be really pretty at the end. So very, very good. Ah. <sighs> I think it could be built on top of the fleshing out the empty area. But the trend is um, empty areas, a lot of white space. So this is a scrapbook trend, so we tried to do that. Just, you know, uh, you could. Oh, I did, I did that. I didn't even realize I did that part of that camera. Um, but you could do some writing in here too, Steve-O. So that would, that would work too. But the trend is to have a lot of white space and have it off-centered. So that's why I did it that way. So trendy. Nobody has ever, ever accused me of being trendy. Correctly. Anyway. Yep, that's the purpose. It's just, it's. I'll show it to you. I'll show you the, the look. But, yep. All right. Well, um, Thursday we have the second, second Cards Plus class using Christmas colors that aren't always just red and green. We're going to do analogous, but we're also going to do something that we talked about in study hall last night. An analogous plus one with a bright hue, um, which is very trendy. So we're going to do two of each. And then um, Friday, we have a little gal from Stamping Up that um, Christine Bertram. Don't know her, but she seems real cute. And we'll see how she does on at the wheel. Uh, yeah, somebody must love these old, these new looks and trends. Uh, a lot of them, Patty, a lot of them, I gotta tell you, I really think it's because they've got a dog in the hunt. To, they've got, they've got product to sell. And so, um, and I, that's fine. Um, but I think a lot of them come in kits and they've got, they do one or two pictures. Maybe it's because somebody can actually get a picture scrapbooked and it's harder to do 10. I mean, you know, it is. So um, maybe it's just a way that they can get it done. 
and um, then they use, end up using product and get more. I don't know. I don't know how the cycle kite works and the, the thinking, but um, I think it's, it's not, it's just for, I'm not going to do it all the time. I was talking to my husband today and I said, I have 62 books or something like that <laughs> with, with um, five to 10 pictures on each layout. So there's no way I can do layouts with one or two pictures because it would it just won't happen. I like, I like pictures. And then with the flap pockets and the in-between pieces, I love all that. Bring on the stories, bring on the pictures. That's that's what Molly, we used to count how many she would get on a layout. She's the engineer and she would get 14, 16. Phenomenal. So anyway, all right. Anyway, it's just a it's just something to try. We're gonna we're just trying and learning. We're at the university. Lots to learn and try and maybe maybe something out of this though will you can use. And uh I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm still in that little picture. <laughs> you guys take care. Kiss your brains for being here tonight. I really like be spending time with you and getting your feedback. I don't know what you think otherwise. So um, we'll do, we'll try to do something next week on um, harder to do 10 pictures. Well, it's harder to do 10 pictures than one. That's what I'm saying, Molly. Because you have to engineer where you're going to put all those pictures and how the story is going to be told and if it's going to need to work and if you're going to have, if it's going to make sense. And if it's going to be balanced and if it looks right. And yeah, that's why I'm saying that it's harder to do more than one picture. One picture isn't, you know, you can always slap it on and say, oh, white space, yay. <laughs> so <laughs> that would work. But um, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Yep, it's good night to everybody. Kiss your brain good night. You have done enough thinking. We will see you Thursday, I hope. It'll be fun. We'll do something cute. It is cute. It does look good. It does look good. And it's on the opposite side of Joanna, which really makes a lot of sense. I'm peacing out. Take care. Love y'all. Bye-bye.